I've started some businesses that have worked out really well and I've started out some businesses or bought businesses that I have completely failed. Here's what I'm interested in if you're interested in pitching me on your opportunity. So I am always looking for opportunities. We love investing in other people's startups. However, even if you're a good friend of mine, I this is business and you have to have a good plan, you have to have a good thing going on or we're gonna respectfully decline. So here's a couple things that we care about. We do care about your past. If you have had a lot of failures in the past and you've never had a win and you haven't changed yourself, uh, you haven't fixed the problems that uh, created those failures, or if you explain the failures in a way that is, uh, I don't know, you're not accepting personal responsibility for them or you're, you're just saying, well, if you're not accepting personal responsibility, that's the long and short of it. If you accept personal responsibility and you've said, these are the six things that I think were the biggest problems, why it didn't work, I was silly, naive, now I know better, and I'm gonna use that new knowledge to make this new venture work. So that's an important thing, is we're gonna look at you and your track record. If you're brand new to business, you've never done anything, you've never won or lost, um, then that you're an unknown uh, unknown quantity. I mean, we, we really have to think about it at that point and say, do we risk our hard-earned dollars investing them with you? Now, if your idea is brilliant and your execution plan is brilliant, then yeah, we might still do it. Um, but yeah, as you get more experience, you'll have us more readily uh, jump in with you. So a few things that we look at. You need to have your paperwork in order. And we don't wanna look at tons and tons and tons of paperwork to start with. A one-page summary, two pages at most, just kind of tell us this is the plan, this is the timeline that we're going to do, this is, what, this is what the expenses are, this is kind of what the product or the service is, how it compares to what else is out there, why yours is better, is it a blue ocean uh, product or, or service or is it a red ocean? And if it is red ocean, then how are you going to beat the competition? Um, what are your competitive advantages? Why, why would we invest in you rather than some other person that walks up to us tomorrow with a pretty similar idea? Uh, another thing that we care about is how willing you are to listen to our suggestion. We don't want to run the thing. We don't want to spend all of our time on your project. That's why you're doing it. Uh, it's, it's your project. We're just maybe putting some money and some advice in. But if you're unwilling to listen to us, and we have made mistakes over and over and over, and we've learned some from those mistakes, and if we're saying, hey, this is really bad, please don't do this, and you just go ahead and do stupid stuff, um, that's, that's not as good for us. So we want to be able to have some input. If you want complete autonomy, we might still invest, but you better have a really good track record, a good plan, a good financial team, accounting team, all that kind of stuff. You, you, you really need to have that stuff going on if you're not going to let us help you uh, make yourself and us wealthier. Uh, so those are just a few of the things, and I'll add more as time goes on, but just some things before you come to us with your idea. Ideas are worth very little. Unfortunately, there are millions of great ideas out there, but until you actually do something with them, until you actually prove that it will work or, or demonstrate, or you persuade us that through your research that there's a really good chance that it's gonna work, that it's feasible and all of this, an idea is just an idea. So put in the homework, come to us with a great plan, and let's get wealthy and wealthy and wealthier together.